Mm, yes. Chanel got nothing on me. I want it. I got it. Don't got money for it. I make it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Do you like my Chanel luxurious 1,500 pair of sunglasses? <laughs> just kidding you guys seriously this has been like the cheapest DIY I have done in like the longest literally it only cost me like seven dollars to do these um that's totally a steal so I personally never been a trendy or um somebody who's in fashion or somebody who's just in style if anything this is probably literally like the closest moment to fashion I'll ever have because like I said I'm not a trendy person I'm not into fashion I just wear what I like and if it happens to be a trend so be it but yeah <laughs> I like more of like 90s fashion slash vintagey fashion like something you know I'm just pretty much do my own thing but I will admit that a lot of things that I do like um they do have a designer feel or um you can say I have an expensive taste but but I do not over exceed myself spending um two thousand dollars in pair of glasses um no so <laughs> um because we're not gonna do that um i came up with the idea of doing a diy um designer inspired and so these are sunglasses um kylie jenner came out wearing them not too long ago in a previous post like i don't know a few days ago i really don't know when and i saw them and i'm like oh of course these are extra af i would like them um and i don't know what it just gave me the feeling i was like ah oh, i'm pretty sure that's chanel i don't know why i had the feeling i'm like that looks like chanel i don't know why so um i of course did my research and i googled and it turns out that these were actually um well not these but like the actual original model um was from the 2005 runway and it was actually um chris jenner the one that attended the uh runway or whatever and she even took a picture with carl and she was actually wearing these glasses so i'm thinking kylie might have borrowed them that day or something like that she was wearing but when i saw them i was like oh must have but because we're not spending two thousand dollars in a pair of glasses here um i decided to just create my own because that's what we do around here you know like i want it i got it don't got money for it i make it <laughs> now there is absolutely nothing wrong with having um designer inspired items i feel like as long as they just don't have the actual logo now i'm not here to tell you what to do that's your cup of tea girly you do you but um i just feel like i don't know you guys i just there's a lot of companies out there who make, um, you know, handbags and, and clothing and sunglasses. Like, they're inspired on, like, main big designers. Um, and there's nothing wrong with owning those. But um, if you can make them, <laughs> what's even better than that, right? Um, I do notice that a lot of my um, taste when it comes down to, like, um, items that I see and they, um, they end up being um, designer. They're oh. usually uh, French. So, yeah. Ooh, Bella, do you want to you wanna say something, Bella? Is there something you want to say, huh? Right in the moment that I'm filming. Huh? Say hi, guys. Hi, people. I'm the dog. I'm the one who's always barking with that little annoying bark. What's your little loud ass? Just to drop 2 or 3K or 4K in a bag or a pair of glasses. Um, I just feel like I could do so much with the, so much more with the money. It's not about, like, the amount. Like, if you have it, go for it. But for me, it's more like I just could do so much more with that money. You get me? Like, I don't know, you guys, but... <laughs> If you guys want to know how to create these designer inspired Chanel sunglasses from the 2005 runway, just keep watching. Mm, 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 yes, fashion. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so because the goal here is to spend the least amount of money, I went to the dollar store and chose a couple of models, or maybe a lot. Um, I know we're just making one pair here, but I did go grab multiple just because i have so many ideas in mind that i'll most likely do on camera here for you guys and here i'm just trying to choose like the right model for it um now for me i feel like this is just the perfect one because um the original model does have a cat eye and um it just has like that catish feel now just so you can see that i'm not lying um let me show you my receipt they were all a dollar now, there is no better combination than cute, pocket-friendly, and fashionable. For this DIY, I will be using my top favorite, the E6000 glue, which is specially for crafts. I got mine at EB for $8. You can find it at Target, Walmart, Amazon, whatever you like. And I also have these little pearly thingies that I got at Amazon. I believe they were $6.49. 
um you can get them in multiple colors these do come in multiple sizes which is my preference and for this project it's just gonna be perfect now i also got them in black just because i want to have different options there was like also rosy gold and gold and silver which didn't arrive in time so we'll just be using these for today now these are the sunglasses we are going to be using for today which are so beautiful i actually accidentally got the um actual lens the same exact color and here i'm just measuring the pearls to see what sizes i'm going to be using at first i thought this was a good idea but then i was like nah I just didn't want the pearls to be like overpowering the frame. I didn't want them to be larger than the frame. So I was hoping for different options to see what size might be the best. This one was like too big in my opinion. So I opted for the smaller ones. And as you can see in the original model, it's small. Now I am going to start by placing a small drop of the glue E6000 with a nail detailer. Again, you can get these at eBay. I think it's like a pack of five for like four or three dollars. Some crazy cheapness like that. And I'm just going to carefully place it just so it won't be so stringy and messy. Then I'm just going to carefully and firmly press the pearl down to where I feel like I want it to be or kind of guiding myself by the original Chanel sunglasses model. So you can see um there can be a little bit of glue going around now you can start scratching it off now so that when it dries up you don't have to worry about it later or you can just let it dry and um just kind of take it off later it's going to be easy to take it off it's not going to be a big deal um but you do want to like try to make this as neat as possible just so it won't be like stringiness all over the place and as you can see it's looking good already now I'm just going to do this for the rest of the frame, guiding myself with the original model, or you can do it as whatever you feel like doing. And voila, here is my semi-finished product. Now I'm just going to place the smaller little pearls that go on the rest of the frame as the original model shows. Here is a nice picture so you can maybe, I don't know, screenshot it, pause it, whatever you want to do. So you can kind of guide yourself into making these beautiful sunglasses. Now again, carefully placing a small drop of glue before I place the extra pearl. Just again, you want to make it as neat as possible just so there won't be any stringiness or any like messiness that you don't want to deal with later. At least I'm not patient for that. Again, firmly pressing the pearl down, repeating the same steps for the rest of the frame, placing the pearls in its place and oh! beautiful now um mine ended up with a little bit of stringiness again we are gonna take care of this afterwards um you can easily just peel it off pinch it off whatever you want to do do it with some tweezers you're gonna find it around the little pearls but the most important thing is to place it somewhere for about two hours or for best results overnight now, of course, taking a little more time than me and having patience because I don't have patience, um, you can go ahead and take the time to like take the glue off. As you can see, there's still a little bit of glue here and there. Um, I just don't have the patience to be going in there and stuff like that, you know? Um, eventually I'll fall off. <laughs> but you can always grab some, um, I don't know, maybe baby oil and just like make it come off faster. Either way, you can just peel it right off. But if you're having trouble, just get some um, baby oil and they'll come right off. Um, I did take the time, well actually I did take the freedom to create a design of my own inspired on these um sunglasses and they are these these are like very lady gaga ish but um since i order all kinds of colors of pearls um but only the white and black arrived to me sooner um i made these too i was planning on making some rose goldy or like goldy ones but like um they didn't arrive on time but what are you guys thinking these are beautiful i think they're gorgeous like if i do say so myself <laughs> mm. i am a very serious sophisticated and respectable woman I do not play games. <laughs> Let me display them in my previous DIY pedestal. Mm, yes. Chanel got nothing on me. Just kidding, I got nothing on Chanel. <laughs> oh, what is that? My driver is waiting for me outside? Mm, coming. These are like perfect. Like when you don't want to have anything to do with the world for the day and you just don't want to like deal with anything, just covers pretty much your whole face. Like, you know, like if it's, I don't know. I just, I just like these. They're huge and I love them. I love huge glasses, you guys. Like just, I mean, I have to be extra AF all the time. Anyways, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY. Um, I literally put my all my love into it because I love doing this. This is like my... This is like my main, like I just totally forgot how much I love making like crafts and DIYs and my own things. Like, I don't know, it just brought me back and um, 
you guys, I totally forgot to do an outro. So here's a video of me just scoping around with the camera while nobody's watching. <laughs> just kidding. I really want to thank every single one of you guys for your support. I really, really appreciate every single one of you guys. Please know that. Don't forget that. We are growing little by little and I am very appreciative of that. More is to come, you guys. I have so many DIYs and projects in mind. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.